Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. This is a rapid and easy tutorial, I recommend you to watch this tutorial till the end. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. Name it Water Drop Logo Animation. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and the duration to 5 or 10 seconds. Click on this button and choose Title, Action Safe. This feature ensures that all essential text, graphics, and action remain visible on various screens, avoiding cut-off issues, especially with older display types. Go to the File menu, then import the logo and the water drop footage. Drag and drop the logo into the composition. Select the logo layer, and press the S key to open the scale properties. Decrease the logo scale if required. Right click on the logo and choose pre-compose. Name it logo here. And make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Select the rectangle tool from the toolbar. Set the fill color to white, and the stroke to none. Double click on the rectangle tool. You can rename the shape layer if you want. Keep the shape layer selected, then go to the effects and presets. Search for the wave warp effect and drag it onto the shape layer. Now it's time to fine tune the settings to achieve an authentic wave effect. Set the wave height to 12. The wave width to 115. and the wave speed to 3.5. Move the time cursor to 3 seconds. Right click on the shape layer, go to transform, and select fit to comp. Press the P key to open the position properties of the shape layer, add a keyframe and move the time cursor to the first frame, and drag the shape layer to bottom of the screen. Select both keyframes, right click. Choose keyframe assistant, and then select easy ease. Click here to open the graph editor, and slightly adjust the graph to something like this. Let's preview it. Cool. Looks good to me. Now, select the logo layer, go to track mat, and choose alpha mat. If you don't see the track mat options, just click on this toggle, switches mode button. Let's preview it again. Amazing. Select both layers and duplicate them by pressing the Ctrl plus D keys on the keyboard. Select the bottom shape layer, and change the wave height to 15. And change the wave width to 90. And change the wave direction to negative 85 degrees. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect fill. Drag and drop to the bottom logo layer. Select the top two layers and move them forward by one second. Let's see, what we have created so far. It looks perfect to me. Let me change the fill color to the light blue. Select all layers, right click, and choose pre-compose. Name it Wave Build or any name you prefer. Hmm. 
Here is the water drop footage I am going to use for this animation. Let's drag and drop the footage into the composition. And adjust the scale to 117%. Also, decrease the logo scale. This ensures that when the drop hits the ground, our logo begins its animation. Now, drag the wave build composition just above the drop footage. Lastly, move the logo layer to where the water drop comes to a stop. This will be the starting point for the logo wave effect. Now, apply the fill effect with the light blue color to the drop footage. It will look more professional and realistic. Let's see the final result. Awesome! Our water drop logo animation is ready. This is 100% editable. You can change your logo easily. You can download every project file from my website. Can I get only 500 likes for this tutorial? I hope this was helpful, and you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Good luck.